All right, so we're headed back to the gym. This is my first day back since, um, well, really in the gym since quarantine and then on a more serious note, since my uh, blood clot. So I'm a little nervous to be honest with you, but no matter what I do physically, I'm a little nervous now. I gotta get over it. I just gotta be smart. So the plan today is to do a full body workout, but on the lower intensity side and to take my time to not push her hard. We did go swimming yesterday, but I'd say 95% of the time I was standing in the water and only 5% I was actually swimming. But swimming is pretty tough though. So I was pretty winded from that. So anyways, next stop is the gym. First workout back. Uh, let's see how it goes. All right, here we are, we're here. I know they got a lot of new rules in place because uh, of the virus, so let's see what we have to do to be good citizens. All right, hi everybody, John Meadows back here. My first workout back. Um, I'm doing a full body workout today. Um, a little bit more emphasis on upper body than legs. So this workout's actually from a new beginner program I'm gonna launch Friday. I thought this would be a good time to, to actually do the workout. I am gonna to toggle down the intensity a little bit though. I need to be uh, a little more careful than usual. So you're gonna see the workout, but it's gonna be at a lower intensity. I gotta be a little careful right now. Um, I'm also gonna to try to not do the Valsalva maneuver, you know, where you hold your breath and really push. I'm gonna to try to keep stress off my heart. Um, so probably won't be using real heavy weights, but you'll get to see the sequence of the exercises, the sets and reps and all that. Um, and I think this is, this is how I was planning on coming back anyway after the quarantine with two weeks of full body workouts. So this will be today's first day back. So I'm just warming up. Um, our first exercise is gonna be incline barbell, but I'm just doing some dumbbell work to just get warmed up, get some blood in there. Everything's feeling pretty good right now. So, all right, so what I'm gonna to do today is three sets of eight. I'm gonna stick with 185. Um, so three sets of eight, it's gonna be your first exercise. <clears throat> I remember I'm gonna, I'm working my way back, so I'm going a little lower intensity. So your sets will be a little bit harder than that one. Okay, now we're going to move on to a slight incline or slight decline dumbbell press. So I got a 25 underneath the bench here. I just really like a slight decline. I feel like there's zero shoulder stress. Feels good in my pecs. So we're going to do three sets of eight here. Again, I'm trying to manage my intensity and not go too crazy. So I probably won't be going crazy heavy on this. We'll see how it goes. Okay, last set here. So I'm going to go up to 80s. I'm going to call it a day. Um, normally I do about 120s. So that's a pretty good decrease. I'm not going too hard. So again, like I said, three sets of eight. This is our last set of eight right here. Okay, so now we're going to move on to some back. I basically just wanted to do a vertical pull. So you can use whatever bar you want. I tend to really like these single handles. But uh, continuing more with the upper body theme today, um, four sets of 10 on these pull downs right here. I like to get a little supination as I drive my elbows down. I feel that really good in my lats. So just one little tip there. All right, now on to one of my favorite shoulder exercises, Y raises. We're doing three sets of 10 here. You bring your hands out, 10 o'clock, two o'clock. Um, love these, one of my favorites. Now remember, my intensity is lower today, so I expect you guys to work a little harder on these.
All right, so now we're gonna do some arm work, uh, push downs and curls. Uh, I've moved the push downs in here with a band. It's a little busy out there on the uh, cable station. And then we're gonna do um, a curl here. So we're gonna go back and forth. I'm shooting for 12 reps on the tricep exercise and 10 on the bicep exercise. We're gonna do four rounds here. Let's see if we can get a pump today. Let's see if we can get some blood in there. Grab this up as high as you need to create the most tension. Obviously, if you're down here, there's not a lot of tension, but the further up you grab it, the more tension you have. Those feel really good, right into the curl. <clears throat> And 10. So we're gonna, again, four rounds there. There we go. Hello everybody, my name is Alexander Meadows and today I'm going to be doing the Jacob Ladder in the Squat Rack. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up our full body workout with a little bit of legs. We got this hip press here, the leg press. Um, we're gonna do four sets here, about eight reps. I'm still warming up. I'm not gonna go real heavy again. I'm trying to be careful uh, not to strain too much today. And then we're gonna kind of superset this. So at the end of the leg press, then we do a toe press for our calves. Throw in another 15 reps. So that's what you're gonna see here. You'll see a leg press followed immediately by a toe press, uh, four rounds. This is my, probably, I probably got this one and one more warm up, and then, uh, probably, and then uh, you'll see the working weight. Okay, this is uh, the working weight that we use for our sets today. Just four plates today. Um, but this is it. After this, we're out of here. Again, um, the, the novice program that I did today launches on Friday, so check it out. And it's good to be back. Thank you all for your support. And that's a wrap. If you like that video, I know you're going to love my app available on the Google Play Store for Android, iPhones, and the Apple Store. 
there's so much information on here, it's amazing. Training, workouts, hundreds of workouts, nutrition methodology questions, chemical enhancement, supplementation, client prep, and a Q&A button. Check it out.